welcome to another episode of Chop It Up with the Saint and everything in between. I am your boy, Effie Motherfucking Saint, and today I just want us to talk about 10 things that might get you arrested in Dubai. You find that each Arab country has a way of doing its own things, yeah? You find that um, the way they do things in Dubai is not how they do things in Sharjah, how they do things in Sharjah how they do things in Abu Dhabi but in general there are 10 things that might that you should probably know so if you do travel to the Middle East at least unajua uko safe ju f f saint mwenyewe alikuambia niaje where they check yourself ju unaweza jipata ndani okay on to my first point jaywalking jaywalking nego kirafara i let's crossing the streets if a cop sees you like down my building there's a place where they have like a a bridge that connects um Sharjah and Dubai and there's a footpath you walk like um so like a 5 minute walk to that footpath that leads you to a mall called Sahara Center so you find that uh, most people don't want to walk to the footpath especially when it's hot they would rather just cross the road go on the bridge and they jump over the fence and they're in Dubai. It's a 10 minute walk. But I'm telling you there are more of people who get arrested or who get fined because most of the time they find you because all about they all they care about here is money. They find you and they're like get the fuck out. But they find you at least 500 dirhams. That's around 12,000 Kenyan shillings. You see pesa kidogo manze. Okay, I'm just checking to see because I made a list. I have I made a list of 30 things, man. That day, maudo that day. I mean, if someone tells you, "Tika maudo for that," so I'm like, "Yo, let me just turn it to ten min, ten things, and or like pack them up together so that they make sense." Buying alcohol without a license. So the only place you buy liquor in Dubai is um, a place called Ajman. We call it a province. It's a place called Ajman, and to buy alcohol there, you need a license. Or if cops shika you buying alcohol without a license, you will get arrested and fined. Eating or smoking or chewing gum, chewing gum, bro. I've gotten fined for chewing gum in a bus. Eat, eating, smoking or chewing gum in a bus, metro or taxi will get you in jail. Seriously, this shit is not funny. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Picking a Sharjah taxi in Dubai. Say a Sharjah taxi has dropped somebody in Dubai, and you're like, "I'm going to Sharjah." You hail it, it stops. You enter. Ninyo watu wili muna pewa a fine. Ama muna ekuandani. Getting pregnant before marriage. I think that should be a law all over the world. But here, if you get pregnant, they either send you back home to get a uh, marriage certificate. If not so, they make you. Terminate. Not here though. You go home and do your shit. But you're not getting ki- kids in Dubai if you're not don't have a marriage certificate. And if they catch you in a hotel room with someone else's husband, ninyo wote mnashikwa. No joke. Begging on the streets. This rule only inafanywa ikuwe not too much during Ramadan. Unaweza unasema kiomba, akisaidia ni nini? But any other time you guys are being arrested. No joke. Okay? selling or buying contraceptives the people who sell contraceptives epa pitu ina tukunga kama 200 dirhams 300 dirhams hiyo ni kama taon taon mbili taw tatu taw ne a kenya kitu na buy 150 kenya bro that shit out here is damn expensive okay mm point i'm just trying to put as many as i can that actually do make sense Okay, if the closes club is supposed to close at 3 a.m. when the people used to club. If you don't close your club at 3 a.m. or if you're not home by 3 a.m. una kwandani. Not wearing masks up and around the city. Now there are so many rules about uh, social distancing and all this. So if you don't respect none of those rules like wearing a mask when you go down or gloves or you do especially in shops and shopping malls unaekwandani bro using verbal or physical fights or fighting an emirati an emirati is a local 
you have no right when it comes to their locals, bro. They protect their own. I wish African people or African countries would protect us the way um, our Arab countries protect their own, man. I appreciate it. But there's no winning with a local, bro. Making this video would get me arrested, bro. The first family, the ruling family decides that I have painted Dubai in a bad picture by making this video. Okay? So that's why I'm just giving opinions. Not even opinions. I'm just reporting and even reporting negative shit from Dubai is a crime. <laughs> Like, there's so many people doing weird shit because of being fired. It was on CNN for one minute. You Google it, you can't find it anywhere on the internet. Because they don't need to paint this place. Their PR is done so well. You guy, using a VPN in this country is illegal. A VPN, you'll, you'll be taken to jail. So, I could watch Ngoati. Akuna kupiga WhatsApp. There no, actually, actually, you can't make a WhatsApp call out of the country video call you can't unless you use a vpn and using a vpn is illegal but apparently now you can do it within dubai because of uh, corona there are some happy things or good things that happened because of corona but outside the country but who has it but now i think they have opened up skype calls and zoom calls because even those ones were blocked so apparently they do that to protect uh, the local networks which makes no sense it's like stopping the telegram so that delivery pigeons could flourish you know it makes no sense it makes no sense to me it makes no sense like has been passed by time in the 21st century yeah man um what else what else what else boom, 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 boom. yeah Yeah, walking around without proper paperwork. So you need an Emirates ID to move around. If they catch you at night and you don't have it on you at all times, because they don't know if you're illegal until someone comes and provides that that you have it and then they'll fine you for not having it on you. I know somebody who said in jail for four days for not carrying his ID. No joke. Credit card or unpaid loans. He's open to say our checky. They'll give you a loan easily, but if you do not pay up in time, especially, my goodness, my goodness, Ukondani. Now I check in here. Now, but you know, this these loans are actually um, insured, but that is not point for you not to pay. You gotta pay them. Pay the piper. Give Kaiser what belongs to Kaiser. Also, bounce checks. If you keep cashing people checks that you can't bank, like you, your bank can't pay off. Maniga, Kwandani, no joke. No joke. Any form of activism. At your haki yetu, haki yako na nani? Wewe ni nani kwanza? Unapiga haki wapi? Si urudi kwenu kazitisha haki zenu. Unaye Kwandani, very fast. So, this is weird, yeah? So for a woman to to prove rape here. There must be four men who saw it happen in the room. Four Muslim men, not just any men, four Muslim men who actually saw the rape happen. And they will be now your witnesses. Notice how they didn't stop it. They saw it happen. Now that's when you get, and if you do not prove it, unenda jela. Because you had sex without a uh, marriage certificate without some being somebody's wife and you you are out, outrightly saying i did it okay gambling uh, people are not allowed to gamble here it's haram so hakuna casino even it being the las vegas of the middle east hakuna casinos okay and i think that's a good thing i don't know what else? What else? What else? What else? But I think yeah, though I think those are more than ten. That's a beautiful thing. 
because um now you know one now you know two um you'll be ready three you'll appreciate other people's country four Dubai is a very safe place because of all these rules and regulations you find it it's very safe and you're able to bring up a family kids grow up with both parents in the family which is important and also uh, they're not exposed to like pornography pornographia on a pornographic materials um and also th- without law there's no order without order there's no governance so governance of this country is done pretty well pretty well pretty well so it's one of the safest places even when this corona has hit so they know exactly where corona is and who has it and they're doing the quarantine properly um and they do take care of their workers to be honest those that work say the flight industry they are well taken care of the managerial positions um the supervi- the supervising the, p- the people who are supervising others they're very well taken care of and there's a hierarchy that there is in every society so i kind of appreciate them for doing that if you know what i mean no? i so yeah, thank you for listening to my show and I uh, appreciate you. As always, raise your energy, protect your vibration and live with love. Over and out.